So it's we have the restaurant, the number one book restaurant in New York is this place. It's like on the ship. Uh, I think we're top five if I'm correct yes. in USA as far as the business. That One of the other interviews, we talked about plating a bit, and I, I'm just a fan of plating. I like the aesthetics of it. Um, you're talking about how the, simp the more simple the plating, the better. When you see an overly complicated plate, where 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 was that error made? To me, the simpler the food on the plate, the harder it is to make. Ah. And the reason being that. The food that we see in some restaurant right now is over complicated. You're gonna have like you know too many ingredients, too many the couple of mixings of, of flavors and, and sauces and, and garnishes. No, try to stay true to what you're trying to achieve. Meaning that you know, let's say you're doing a scallop. Well, cook the scallop properly, season it properly. Don't try to hide the flavor of the scallop with something which is going to be overpowering. And then you're going to be left eating something and not being able to recognize what you have in front of you, not being able to look at it and say, oh, what is that? What is that? And so, like, you know, cooking fish is, you know, everybody's like, think, oh, cooking fish is easy. No, it's actually really technical because the second you overcook it, the, f the fish is ready. So it's being able to take something like a, like a, a nice product Season it properly, like uh, should it be a piece of salmon or a scallop? Mm -hmm. Season it properly, cook it properly, and make it the star of the dish, which is like something that is going to complement it. Yeah. A nice sauce, as simple as that. That's at least what, what we try to achieve here. I love that. Not try to be too, too complicated. Another thing you, you said is local ingredients, seasonal flavors. Mm -hmm. And I'm curious how you're reflecting that in this new menu, in the vision. Well, you know, with the volume that we do, you know, it's we have the restaurant, the number one book restaurant in New York is this place. It's like on the ship. Uh, I think we're top five, if I'm correct, yes. in USA as far as the business that we do Amazing. here. Yeah, so, great. with the volume that we do, there is some items that I will not put a tomato salad in the midst of December, even if tomatoes you can find them all the time. I want to make sure that I follow the seasons and follow nature. So tomatoes will come for you know for summer. Spring you're gonna have a spring vibe, you know, and trying to stay true to the roots and try to stay root to seasonal things. You know, I wouldn't put like root vegetable gratin in the midst of summer because that's something that you serve with like you know venison like you know in fall and winter. You know, mushroom season is mushroom season. Don't try to do things that are out of season because the product is not going to be the best. So if the product is not good, I don't want to serve it. I'd rather not put something on the menu 